On a visit to Ibuga and Remy prison farms which both sit on over 4,000 acres of land in Kabarole district, best describes that Ugandan prisons is doing a great job as regards engaging prisoners in productive agriculture. The prisoners are engaged in growing of maize, vegetables and fruits on a large scale. The agricultural products from the farms are later distributed to other prisons in the countryside. While touring the farms, the Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Tris Buchanayandi, was impressed with agricultural works on the farms and promised support from his ministry directed towards the development of agricultural works at the farm. I had to see, to get my directions. I saw the other prison farm across this one. I said, my God, why don't we treat this as one farm? Just get large scale uh, uh, farming or feasibility study written to make sure that the activities here are harmonized, the machinery, the value addition, including uh, feeder roads in here. Of course, if you put the bridge across the Wimby River, it's extremely near. Which Anayandi was accompanied by Internal Affairs Minister Hilaro Nek and Ministry of Fishes from Ministry of Trade and Finance. The Commissioner General of Prisons, Dr. Johnson Bialashaija, says all concerned parties were brought together and a directive from the President with the aim of boosting agricultural production on the farms. We don't want to gamble anymore. We have been doing this type of farming for the last 10 years, but I have not yet achieved even. 20 bags per, per acre. That means there is something wrong which I'm doing. That's why I brought these experts. We have seen it is like a needs assessment mission. We are going to sit down with them and the chat away from them. Biawashaija also boasted of their capacity to feed the nation if they are fully supported and processing their produce. The officer in charge of Iboga prisons, Kalisa George, stressed the need for such agriculture skills training for the inmates, saying they help them a lot after prison. But most importantly, he says they still need some more. Uh, unlike before, at uh, this time around, Uganda Prison Service, in uh, wanting to combat poverty out there. As we realize most of our criminals are poor, less advantaged in society, so we are trying to empower them in prison. Analyst argue that if at all concerned parties are brought on board to streamline the works done at the prison's farms, the country will address issues of food security and also warmly enjoy its position as the food basket for East Africa. Samuel Senono reporting for UBC TV News in Kabarore district.